So you've probably heard that Google is coming out with a stock Android version of the Samsung Galaxy S4, uh, which will be retailed for $649.99. Uh, if you're like me and you love the Samsung hardware and the stock Android software, but don't have $650 to blow, San and Jamaa 10.1 can be a very affordable alternative to getting some of those features. CyanogenMod is a custom ROM that you can run on Android devices. This is CyanogenMod 10.1, which is essentially Android 4.2. Um, and I'm running it on my Samsung Galaxy S3 from T-Mobile. And I'm just going to go through and show you some of the main highlights of this ROM. So I'll start off with the lock screen. Um, as I unlock my phone, you can see that there is no touch whiz on here. This is essentially pure stock Android. Um, now, this allows us with 4.2 or CyanogenMod 10.1 to have multiple home screens. So this is the main lock, well, lock screen. And if I just swipe to the left, I have a calculator app. Um, I can swipe again, I can add something. Let's say I want to add a uh, Gmail app. And uh, put an inbox right there. So now I have an inbox to my left. I have a calculator to my right. And then back here, I have my home page. Uh, before I unlock it, I can you can put all kinds of passwords on there, but I have no password on. And if I s take this, I can click on it to unlock, or I can swipe it. So if I swipe, I can unlock, I can activate messages, voice control, I can go straight into, let's say, a phone mode, and it takes me straight to the phone. So that's, that's some neat features that you have just straight off the, uh, straight off the lock screen. Also, from the lock screen, if I swipe to the right, it activates my camera. So, if this looks familiar, this is the stock camera you get on all your Nexus devices. And this is pretty sleek. Uh, not that many buttons. Just a center toggle for uh, focus. You have camera, camcorder, panorama, uh, mode. And all your options are right on the center. So, if I click it, I can focus. And if I hold it, it brings up the option list. So, I can turn my flash on and off. Um, front and back camera, put a timer on it, and all your uh, white balances are over here. So that's pretty cool, uh, pretty good looking feature. Um, so if I go now to the home screen, uh, haven't put that much on, trying to keep it nice and clean. But as you can see, this is a custom home screen, runs very smooth, very clean. Um, and one really neat feature is that this bottom dock, you can actually put multiple docks on. So once again, these run independent of one another. I can take something from the dock, bring it up here, take something up here, put it into my dock. And you can have, I think, a maximum of, I think, seven screens up here and three docks, which is pretty cool. Moving on, another cool feature is the notification bar. So typically when you have your stock touch whiz and you pull this down, you would have options going all the way out here. So if you wanted to, let's say, turn multi-window off, you have to drag all the way to the right. Here, you can customize what you want on here. So I have just uh, four options, um, GPS on, off, Wi-Fi, on, off, syncing, brightness. Um, however, if I take two fingers and I drag it down, this brings up my quick settings, which all these are, once again, customizable, um, like battery, brings me to my battery app. But yeah, so one finger, you get notifications, two fingers, you get your settings. And this is easily swappable. So that's pretty cool. Now if we go into some of our settings, I'll show you just how customizable this stuff is. So we can go like into our launcher. Um, I can pick just how many, uh, how big I want my home screen. So I could actually have a seven by seven uh, icons on my home screen. And this is up to seven home screens um, just the customization in here, so like going from um, screen to screen, I can pick all kinds of uh, ways to transition. So I can put like carousel left, and just to show you, that's like, so you can put all kinds of stuff. Another cool thing is I can change uh, all kinds of, I can put all kinds of crazy passwords on here. So like typically I use pattern and Android, stock Android, you get on three by three. Now I can get a six by six. So if you don't, if you don't want anybody to know your password, you could do like one of these, and that's a legit password. Um, uh, another option 
is, let's see, systems. Yeah, so like I was saying about the uh, quick settings, this thing, I can put anything I want in here. So I can, let's say, add, uh, go to sleep mode, and I can change the location of any of these, and that reflects it live right here. Another thing that's cool is the ability to change your notification lights. So, um, example, I can uh, change the exact color for every type of notification. So if I want a different type for, let's say, Evernote, um, I can choose the exact color. So let's say I want a hot pink and the exact speed that I want it to go for. That's pretty cool. And that's the light that comes on over here. So going back to the home screen, you can see just how smooth everything is. No glitches, no uh, freezes. Everything's perfectly smooth. Um, and just to go through some of my apps, so like you get the uh, updated Gmail app where you can swipe from the side. Um, same thing with the uh, new YouTube app. You get it just coming from the side. And there you go. So one of my favorite features on CyanogenMod is the ability to receive text while in another application. So let's say I'm busy with uh, Play Store and I'm looking at apps and uh, my mom decides to text me. Thank you. Normally a text message will pop up right here in your touch whiz, but now it pops up right here. So instead of going, to, I can, from here, I can just type, uh, a reply and send it right back to her or let's say we've been having a conversation and I want to see the whole conversation with one click I can click, I can click view and that brings me up to the whole conversation um, and my, what I type there stays and one of my favorite things about this that a lot of you who uh, talk to people with iPhones is you get full emojis almost everything that's available on the iPhone you get here and I've tested it with a lot of iPhones and all the emojis come out crystal clear, they receive it well. And you also get group messaging. So whereas back in the day, um, all group messages from iPhones get sent to you as SM, uh, MMSs, and then when we reply back, they become uh, single messages. Here you can actually keep, keep the group messages, uh, which I think is a really cool part for uh, cross-platform communication. So yeah, this is a just an overall look at CyanogenMod 10.1, um, virtually Android 4.2, and I strongly, strongly recommend it. Uh, if you do not like TouchWiz, by the way, this has been great on my battery life, uh, great amount of customizability, super smooth, I've had no problems with it so far, uh, no crashes, nothing like that. Actually, I've probably had less crashes than my uh, original TouchWiz. So yeah, if you feel like getting it, I have included two links below, one on how to unroot your phone and the other on how to flash uh, CyanogenMod 10.1 or any version of CyanogenMod on a uh, Android device, in this case my Galaxy S3. So yeah, thanks for checking me out, subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me some comments, alright? Thanks.